crafters, my name is Erin and welcome to Giggles Creative Corner. It's time for Paper Pumpkin again and I got mine in the mail so I'm bringing you along on my adventure of putting it together. I'll see you at the craft table. So this is February's Paper Pumpkin, meaning it's the one that arrived in February. And I went ahead and opened it up, and since I'm using lots of ands today, I apologize. Since it had the pool party and the daffodil delight as the stampin' spots, I went ahead and grabbed my full-sized ink cartridges, or inks, to use. And I set these aside and hold on to them in case I get some little girl in my group that wants to do some stamping. Then I give her a stampin' spot and we're good. <laughs> So we got our photopolymer stamps. One that says thanks. And I just wanted to say on the ink splotch and everything else. And then our nifty little package. Okay. Yes. I'm being silly. But you guys know me enough by now that you know I can't help it. Alright. Pull this off. This. Our little boxes to put them in when we're done and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, then I got eight of the eight panel cards. I've got some baker's twine. Now this is new. This is um, felt. And they have thanks cut out. And you have eight thanks. I hadn't worked with felt with paper pumpkin. This will be fun. And then, of course, we have our adhesive strips. Okay. Instructions, please. All right. And it says it's called Layer of Gratitude. So, I got my stamp set, I got my stampin' spots, I got my white accordion card bases, I got my white, uh, my eight craft boxes, 48 felt letter stickers, six yards of orange and white baker's twine, and 24 adhesive strips. Okay, time to get started. So, I have one. I was looking at these and I was like, oh, this would make an absolutely adorable accordion fold um, photo album. So I could take pictures of my boys and put them in here and send a little photo card in an envelope to my mother-in-law to let her know that we were thinking of her. <laughs> Okay, sorry, brain went running away on me. All right, I'll get busy now. So first off, we just get to stamp and have some fun. And it looks like... <laughs> there we go. Looks like what they did was... These little triangles and these little circles we did in Daffodil Delight and then <laughs> they stamped sentiment on top of that in Full Party. And these two they did and full party. All right, cool. All right. Now, have my pointing up. There you go. Full party. Daffodil delight. Full party. Daffodil delight.
There we go. All right, now, pool party time. I just wanted to say. Now, all this off, and we get to put our letters on now. Now, I know a lot of you might be a little more pickier with your placement than I am. I just kind of eyeball and stick. But that's what makes all of our things our own individual gifts just because we all have our own little quirks and the way we do things. Go. There we go. So I have all this and then I can write my own little note right over here on this last one. So I'm leaving it blank. And when I fold it up, there's my accordion fold. And then we open it up. It's very bright and cheery. Now, let's make our box. Okay. This is our top. So that's our bottom. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a strip of adhesive. If I can get it to let go. Right here. Okay. Fold it over and stick. All right, I need two more. And put one on each side here. Okay. I know on a couple of them, on the front of the box, or on the front of the instructions, they showed that they uh, decorated the boxes a little. So I'm going to take a singular little dot. And I'm going to play a little bit. And card, there it is. Stuff that in there like that. Fold this over and it says to do 27 inches of twine. Find my end here. There we go. Why not? And 11. I'm going to 11 and a half. Just for that extra. And grab, wrap, wrap, and 
I don't think you can send it through the mail with it tied up. I don't think the ribbon would last. I don't think it'd make it. But it would still be a cute little box. And then... Uh, the ribbon? Well, it's not ribbon, it's twine, but you get the gist of it. Just making a bow. There we go. I don't think I'm going to trim it much. There we go. So, there's the paper pumpkin for February. And there's all sorts of different ways that you can do it. Um, like I said, I was looking at these and I was thinking, you know, school pictures, the wallet sizes would be just adorable. And the kids could take one of these. They could put their picture on the front and then they could tell the grandparents what they've been doing all year long. Fold it up, stick it in a box. And grandparents are, have a little view into the kids' life, school day. So, think of different things that you can do with your paper pumpkin. It's fun to do what they, the instructions say. But it's also lots of fun to think of different ways of using them. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please remember to hit like and subscribe. And I'll see you for the next project. Bye!